This has been the scene since Saturday evening. A fire burning out of control on an Iranian tanker loaded with a highly volatile ultralight crude oil with the potential for a massive maritime explosion. The Chinese government takes maritime accidents like this very seriously and has already dispatched many search and rescue teams to the scene to carry out search and rescue, even though from what we understand the weather conditions are extremely unfavorable. The tanker collided with a Hong Kong registered freighter filled with grain from the United States. It happened here, about 300 kilometers off the coast of Shanghai, in an area not frequented by large vessels like oil tankers or container ships. There were 32 crew members aboard the Iranian tanker. Only one body has been recovered. The rest are missing. We are currently still investigating the cause of the accident. We are also very grateful to other countries who actively participated in the search and rescue work of this maritime accident. The risk of a massive explosion is high. The tanker is carrying a crude oil called condensate. When condensate mixes with water, it evaporates quickly. And once it reacts with air, it becomes a potent, flammable gas, creating the risk of a huge explosion. The environmental group Greenpeace released a statement saying, we are worried about the potential environmental impact that could be caused by leakage from the vessel that was holding almost 42 million gallons of crude oil. A cleanup procedure is already underway and we will be monitoring its progress. In September of last year, beaches in Greece were fouled after a tanker went down off the coast carrying 2,500 tons of crude. Back in 2002, Thousands of beaches were polluted in the worst oil spill to ever hit Spain when the Prestige went down, carrying 50,000 tons of oil. Those spills were dwarfed by damage from the Exxon Valdez in 1989. It ran aground, spilling nearly 11 million gallons of oil in Alaska's pristine Prince William Sound, where oil fouled nearly 2,100 kilometers of coastline. There is a small flotilla in the area trying to contain the damage. China has seven ships on site. The Republic of Korea has a ship and a helicopter in the region. And a U.S. Navy aircraft is also looking for missing crew members. Sean Caleb's CGTN in Washington.